Good morning, President Graham, Mrs. Hecht, Mrs. Sullivan, Mrs. Crystal, Ms. Galligan, faculty, family, friends, and most importantly, Sacred Heart Academy's graduating class of 2024. I am extremely honored and blessed to stand before you all today to celebrate our amazing accomplishment. We did it. I can still remember walking into school on the first day of freshman year, seeing 201 new faces all dressed in their brand new uniforms. Now, four years later, I know I can speak for many of us when I say that I now wear three-year-old loafers, a pass, a pass down blazer with one remaining button. I have one pair of unripped tights, can only seem to find one of my skirts, and I think I'm on my fourth ID card. <laughs> Sound familiar? Somewhere within these four years together, our maroon socks became navy tights, sweatshirts became blazers, masked faces became smiling faces, lunches with barriers became lunches with friends, Taking the bus to school became mornings in the senior lot. Sitting in our classrooms during mass became sitting in the center section of the theater. The basement became the concourse. Sports teams became champions. Those anxiously trying out for red and gold teams became captains. The first day of classes became the last day of classes. Cotillion became prom. Orientation became graduation, but most importantly, classmates became friends and friends became family. Although our four years together were filled with uncertainty and change, we would not be where we are today without the help of the entire Sacred Heart community, administrators, faculty, staff, and students. Anyone can tell how special a place Sacred Heart is when they see the connection and relationships the students are able to develop with their teachers over the four years. The friendliness, kindness, and approachabilities of all the teachers here have allowed us to grow, not only as students, but also as people. From a simple hello in the hallway to chaperoning our senior Disney trip, to giving their time to support the many clubs and sport teams at Sacred Heart. The faculty truly embody the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph, to treat all with inclusive love, advancing unity, reconciliation, justice, and peace, as they were always there to give advice, brighten someone's day, or just be our biggest fans. As I look back on our four years together, I remember a time highlighted by laughter, smiles, victories, and faith. Laughter. We laughed at each other's creative Shalloween costumes, laughed at our anything but a backpacks, laughed at our rhyme without reason costumes, and laughed during retreat dance parties. Smiles. We smiled in Disney, watching the fireworks in front of Cinderella's castle while eating Dole Whip. We smiled seeing the goats and farm animals on retreats in Brentwood, and we smiled having our classmates sign our shirts on the last day of senior classes. Victories. We celebrated our swim team as two-time state champions and four-time league champions our soccer team as state and league champions, our basketball team as league champions, our mock trial team as they reached the semifinals in the Nassau County Mock Trial Tournament, our classmates in science research as they won countless awards for their outstanding projects. We celebrated two RTVs and two GTVs, our numerous Scholastic Award winners, and our amazing school musicals, 
concerts, and nutcracker performances. And faith. We would not be where we are today without the help and strength given to us by God. Without the help of the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph, that has encouraged us all to deepen, explore, and learn more about the lived experience of our faith. Sacred Heart would not be the place it is without the kindness and compassion of its students. And I am so blessed to have been able to spend these last four years with my best friends at Shaw. Long after we retire our button-free blazers and last remaining rip-free tights, long after we receive our diplomas and walk off the stage, Sacred Heart will remain our home. Thank you. <laughs>